to the main attraction, destination, satisfaction, purest kind of interaction, march and run, reach and grab, hit the ground, run with the supersonic. We are Rhythmic Circus, and we're basically a group of performing artists, musicians, and dancers who wanted to find something different and new and exciting, and we ran away to the circus, which was this group of each other. That was great. How, how do you feel about that? I think that was good. good. <laughs> Four tap dancers in the seven piece horn band. It's a huge payoff for a lot of us that have spent the past 10, 15, 20 years, you know, perfecting our craft. Rhythmic Circus is a touring dance and music act that does all kinds of crazy stuff. You gotta see it to really get what it is. A bunch of dudes and me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I get it. Rhythmic Circus is a group of uh, four tap dancers in a seven-piece funk band that goes around and performs uh, a little show they put together for people with a smile. <laughs> <laughs> The group started when me, Nick, and Kalina were rehearsing and we were always spending our Wednesdays here at Glicks watching the Root City Band. Root City is a band that I started in high school that have been longtime friends with the tap dancers of uh, Rhythmic Circus. We were like, what if we had the greatest band in the history of time with us? So we asked them and they said yes, henceforth history. When Ricky asked them, you know, would you like to try to put together a show with us, they said yeah, and we started working towards uh, combining our talents to create uh, Feet Don't Fail Me Now, which premiered at the Rich Theater in 2008, and we've just been taking it around and performing it for as many people as will see it. Feet don't fail me now. Feet Don't Fail Me Now is... Rapid Fire Tap. Yeah. Yeah. Sensational right. music and dance. Yeah. Sensational music and dance. Costume changes. Featuring costume changes. Costume changes. <laughs> Inspirational <laughs> dance music comedy show. Yeah. I think a continuing theme in Feet Don't Fail Me Now is that there's a lot of faith and a lot of love that goes behind anything that you do in your life that's um, positive or comes from the heart. And you know you rely on yourself, uh, not give up, rely on your friends. To, you know, when you need help, and you know, it's just a stay on your feet and keep moving type thing, you know. Said it a million times, or heard it in songs, or whatever, feet don't fail me now, you know what it means. Take that risk, take that chance, go for it, go for the top. And that's kind of the point of the show. The underlying message throughout is reach for your dreams, find your bliss, you know, look for your circus sort of thing. You do so much work to get prepared for the thing that you want to do in your life. For us, it was putting the show together. All of the work that goes into writing the songs, making the choreography, uh, preparing it, rehearsing it, getting it ready for an audience. But it comes down to that moment when you step on stage. And as a tap dancer, Feet Don't Feel Me Now has been such a model my whole life. Like, here I go, I've put everything into it to get here. Let me hit the steps right tonight. Let me, let me make the best of this moment. First time we'd taken what we'd made, to people who didn't know us and didn't really care about us. We generated this crazy buzz the first time we ever did it for strangers. It just went off 100% better than we would have even imagined. We had a celebration that night too because that was the first time we realized maybe we had <laughs> lightning in a bottle. And so then progressively as we've gone, every new group of people that have never seen us and don't know what to expect, we give them the show and they just go crazy. We cover all styles, blues, rock, funk, R&B, salsa, reggae, and get some juggling in there, dance in a, in a number or two. It's, it's really a variety show that kind of covers all bases. Funny for your grandkids and your grandma, which I don't think is that easy to do. Mm -hmm. yeah. We don't curse and we're very nice. <laughs> Damn straight. <laughs> Feet Don't Fail Me Now is a show of all my best friends that I've grown up playing music with. Uh, and these amazing dancers that we have watched for a long time and who also have watched us play music and so to come together as a group with not only your best friends but the people you've looked up to and worked with. All of a sudden we're doing it together and it's just the greatest show because the energy is natural, it's organic and I had to throw that in there. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> organic. organic. <laughs>
constant dancing in the back of my head Only when I gave him music would he go to bed So I worked every day just to keep him fed But the boogie fell into my feet Plan words, maybe the boogie monster, that spirit of, you know, just letting it out, got a boogie, and let that kind of spirit free, maybe just be a little bit more adventurous in your decisions or choices that you make, and, you know, feel free to feel free. I can see all the monsters around. I know it gets hard when you're by yourself. I can feel all the music inside And I got friends and I know that my friends can help And then at the same time it's about uh, how we feel free together when we are jamming. So we let the boogie monster out and here we all are as a group of friends who are performing and traveling around the country and it's about the friendship that we feel and how we feel the most at home playing music and making music together. Together we Work to find the groove. Together we work to fill the pocket. Together is better than all in all. Together you talk to anyone in this group and about life and the choice to be a musician or a dancer. And a lot of days you wake up and it's not the easiest job. It's not the easiest life choice. There's not security. There's not the regular things you get, you know, moving into your adult years. But when you get to perform, when you get to let your monster out, it all makes sense why you do what you do. When you have each other, when you have a community of monsters, when you can get that together, people understand that. You look at your life, it's easy to find a lot of monsters that are, that are biting at you, taking you down, trying to pull you under. Boogie Monster is like your floaty arms, it's trying to pull you up. Now Satisfy that with a big appetite. You gotta groove your feet tonight. Satisfy that with a big appetite. When people hear tap dancing, they immediately think of their fifth birthday and when they had those patent leather little slip-on shoes, you know, and they have the big bow on them, or they think of their sister who had those shoes. And um, due to that, I have been like on a mission personally to put some oomph in some tap shoes, you know what I mean? You can use the instrument of of a piece of metal on the floor and do something musical with it. You can do something emotional with it. You can do something with that instrument. People are always saying, oh, what a dying art form. I say, are you kidding me? This isn't dying. It didn't go anywhere. I mean, look at all the people who know about tap dancing and people who feel connected to tap dancing. I think that that's part of the reason why Rhythmic Circus works so well and why people connect with it so well is that they feel that they are a part of it. What this project gets to do is bring that to more people. It gets to say, you know, tap dance isn't necessarily Fred Astaire and the Chief. Yeah, yeah exactly. It's not, you know, this and hands. It's a very raw and in your face art form and it conveys a lot of emotion, a broad spectrum of emotion. I think in the dance community, I don't want to say there's necessarily like a stigma about tap dancing, but there's certainly a different understanding about it where some people kind of see that tap dancing might only be a form of entertainment. And that's just really not true. If you understand that tap dancing is like a form of communication that if you're watching two tap dancers trade off, they're speaking with one another and having a conversation, I think that adds a lot of value to it. Plus dancers that say tap dance isn't art, can't tap dance. Was a boogie monster dancing in the back of my head? Only when I gave him music would he go to bed. So I worked every day just to keep him fed. But the boogie fell into my feet.
the main attraction, destination, satisfaction, pure is kind of interaction, march and run and reach and grab. Perhaps the coals, you know they come in courses, it's hard to put a saddle on some wild horses. Come on, come on, it's what you've all been